Hello everyone. Now before you say anything in the comments, yes, I know that tornadoes don't have the same cliche names that hurricanes do. It was just a joke, so don't freak out. It's like Hurricane Michael, but instead it's Tornado Michael, you know? I couldn't come up with a good name, so that's what I picked, alright? So in this episode, we're going to talk about tornadoes and hurricanes, because they're both very similar to each other. The only difference I know of is that one is above the water, the hurricanes, you know, and tornadoes are on the land. Their mass, though, is far different. Like, it's not even funny how much bigger hurricanes are than tornadoes. Yeah, so maybe they're not that similar after all. I mean, like, in fifth grade, one of my classmates was asking, what happens when a hurricane and a tornado collide? And the teacher was like, that would never happen. Besides, the tornadoes are like a fourth of a mile long in width. Hurricanes <laughs> are hundreds of miles across. What do you think would happen? Well, anyway, so you guys probably have heard this before already, but you know where I live. Like, not the exact address or town or anything, but you know the basic area. I live in the most famous state that is known for having tornadoes. Oklahoma. Believe it or not though, as far as I recall, I don't think I've ever seen a tornado with my own eyes before. And this is coming from an Okie. I suppose I've been pretty lucky so far. I mean, freaking, there was once a day, some time ago, where there were 15 tornadoes in Oklahoma all at once. Holy damn. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're pretty well known for those big ass spinny things, right? I'm sure one day I'll see a tornado. It's bound to happen eventually, right? But the day that Oklahoma got hit with 15 tornadoes, I don't think I was alive then at that point. And we all know that anything that happened before I was born, it ain't important. I'm just kidding, of course, but... The closest I have come to actually experiencing a tornado was when I experienced some pretty strong wind. Yeah, it was like 5 in the morning, and I specifically remember my mom telling my sister that the guy she was dating at the time was driving to work, and a stop sign just flew over his car. Why he even bothered to go to work during this condition is beyond me, but that just comes to prove how good my memory is, alright? Because this was like several years ago. But tornadoes though, much stronger than a strong wind. There is a name for them, but I forgot what that name was, so who cares. They literally pick up big-ass semi-trucks and slam them into buildings. Yeah, it would be a better world if that didn't happen. I've actually been through a neighborhood that was trashed by a tornado, and I wasn't even, like, freaked out or anything. Like, it was actually kind of cool. I mean, not, not cool, but it was, like, cool to look at, the rubble and stuff. Like, you, you know what I mean. My dad and I were talking about it, and I was like, well, where are all the bodies? And he said, oh, they've already been taken care of. Well, thank God. I've always wondered if in the future someday we'll be able to stop tornadoes, but my dad has stated that probably not because they're nature. It's kind of hard. In fact, I don't even know if it's possible to just stop whatever nature does. So, yeah, you can't really change it. Well, what we have learned to do, though, is take shelter during one of them. If you have a basement or something that's underground, that's probably the best option because the tornado is on the surface and it's not going to get you if you're underneath. But also, just don't be in a room with like outer walls. What the hell does that mean? Well, basically, a room that is not where one of the walls is one of the outside walls. Like, there can't be any windows or anything, you know what I mean? Like, a room that's dead center in the house would be the perfect example of that. But, if there was a tornado and it just went through your house like that and destroyed all your furniture and crap, well, that'd be worse than horrible. Like, I wouldn't want to experience that. I would rather just be sucked up by the tornado along with all my furniture. I mean, it's not likely that a tornado's gonna come that close to you, but still, though, what am I without my furniture, you know what I mean? I guess it's better to have your furniture be gone than to have you be gone, in some people's eyes anyway. But I don't know. I mean, the Tri-State Tornado, it killed about 695 people and destroyed thousands of buildings. That's thousands of buildings and 695 people too many in my opinion. So, hopefully, maybe, buildings can rebuild themselves in the future. But why the hell are we talking about the future in this episode? That's not the main topic, so forget it. Maybe it wouldn't be as bad, though, if you could regain all your stuff or you could, like, hide it somewhere or whatever. Now, I remember earlier when I was talking about names and stuff specifically of hurricanes, 
Well, the way they name each one, it's more confusing than what day Easter falls on every year. I tried looking it up for the sake of this episode, but I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I only learned about two things here. One is that hurricanes don't start with the letters Q, U, X, Y, or Z. Five of those letters? No way. I'm guessing it's because there aren't that many names that start with those letters, but God forbid if there's a Hurricane Zack coming around here. And the second thing I learned is that, and I could be wrong here, but there can be two hurricanes with the same name. A few years ago, we had a Hurricane Michael in 2018. They say that in 2024, if there's another hurricane that causes more damage than the one that we had in 2018 named Hurricane Michael, it too will be named Hurricane Michael. I have no idea how they come up with that crap. Well, folks, that was this episode. I will see you guys later. Might even be season 7 by the time I start the next episode. But anyways, goodbye.